So welcome to Photoshop and today we're going to be going um, over displacement map. Now displacement map is used to kind of wrap or warp something around something with tonal value. Um, it will make a little bit more sense but the object is if you put a texture over this face it's going to be in a flat two dimension. So we're going to use the displacement map to come in here and sort of wrap around the eyes and nose and stuff so it looks like it's bending around those areas. So this is pretty easy. So the first thing I did is I, I lightened a few areas of this. So we want to create depth like light to dark, light to dark. The more you have of that, the more this is going to work better. So the first thing we need to do when doing a displacement map, if this is was in color, you need to make it black and white. And then I'm just going to actually duplicate this. So I've got this layer here and I'll just call this blur because I'm actually going to blur it. So I'm going to go up here to um, blur, Gaussian blur, and just about five. And we're going to say OK. And then we're going to save this file. So we're going to go file, save as, and I'll call this displace. I'll put this on my desktop and just overwrite what I had before. All right, and then we can just delete this layer because we don't need this layer. Now, there's a million different ways to do this. I could select, I can select out his face and kind of paste into it with this texture, or I can just put it on and use a mask, is which pretty much what I'm going to do. So we have this tree here. I'm not sure how I ended up with a a tree brush but I must have for some reason turned that into a brush but so right here we have this texture here so I'm going to copy this it's I'm going to do command a command C and obviously I could just move it as well and command V now this is much larger than my image here so I'm gonna hit command T for transform and kind of zoom out and Kind of wanted about that big, I think. Um, escape, deselect, move tool, and just kind of move this into this general area. And we can zoom in. And if you want to see kind of where it's placed, I can uh, easily uh, just lower that opacity so I can kind of see and I can move this image exactly where I want it to be. Um, or fall over and that's kind of what I want right there so I will take that opacity and move that back over so right now obviously we can't see the image below it because this is layer order in Photoshop and this is superseding this one below it so what we're going to be using are blending modes and we're going to go through our blend some blending modes here and see how they interact or react with this image and see if we can get a decent blend. So the trick and one of the reasons this image was picked because of its dark, its dark and light values. So you'll be able to see if I go to darken, um, notice it is keeping all of the darker values but it getting rid of all the lighter values. If we go to multiply, it's a little bit similar but it's darkening everything as well. We can do color burn kind of a cool real texture painterly effect but that's not what I'm going for in this one this one is accentuating that we'll go down here to lighten and you can see lighten is doing the opposite it's keeping the light pixels as well as screen and getting rid of the dark so we definitely don't want that because I want to keep the dark or light so overlay is uh, kind of in between both of them lighten and darken and giving us some of the values but not as strong as when we were just doing darken all right in this one i think we're probably going to use something like this here so um and you can toggle through the rest of the blending modes to see what you like just really kind of depends on what you want to do so um what we're going to do now is now we have sort of this notice this line here it's sort of flat it goes across that nose but it doesn't really kind of fit so what we're gonna do is sort of warp that 
and this is where displace comes into effect so we're going to go up to filter distort displace and you're going to grab that image that you had before so i'm just going to keep this 10 by 10 vertical scale this is how much it's displacing um, stretch to fit uh, wrap around uh, and hit ok now you're going to pick that displace image which needs to be saved as a psd i think and if we zoom in here we will hit this and you can see those images so like right here notice it's kind of tucking and blending that and making like right here it's sort of wrapping around some more i've never tried to do to place this place twice let's see what happens if we do it again yeah so it even did it more hmm. so let's go back displace displace again yes yeah, so it did it do it did do it some more um, so we're gonna stick with that all right now if I wanted to change the opacity of that if I wanted less of it or more of it which I'm gonna keep it because I really wanted to go over that face there um, you can do that as well so one of the issues that we have here and let me just turn this layer off is notice this area is out of focus and this area is out of focus and this area is out of focus and I don't know if I really want uh, that displace fic, uh, feature you know coming out here on this so we can always create a mask and grab a black earn my flow up and I can paint this out of anywhere where I don't want it to appear so if I just want that to appear in the face I can remove this from his clothing and just make that appear there. Same thing with the hair. So one of the things is on the edges here, um, we're running into the issue of, you know, the tree is obviously still sharp. Same thing with the face. And in this image, you can see underneath the nose is out of focus. So we have a very shallow depth of field. So we're going to use something that I pretty much never use in Photoshop which is the blur tool so by take the bl blur tool notice we have light and dark and normal and strength we'll, we'll move it down we'll try 18 um, percent I'm not even sure really where to start too much because they don't really use it too much and we will just blur that up a little bit any of these areas and so here I can sort of fade this stuff off in that image we're just blurring that we take the strength way up really not affecting it too much all right and that looks pretty good so we've kind of blurred those areas of this layer now it's not doing anything to the layer before it was just doing the one area um, that we saw there and then it we were just blurring those areas to sort of uh, darken that out so another thing that we could do here is um, we are going to just come in here actually with some shading and I'm just gonna grab my brush and we'll grab oh let's say kind of a darker medium gray so I'll hold down alt and we will try to pick sort of a darker color I think I want something a little darker than that and we're gonna just really lower this flow down to a couple percent and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of model this as well so I'm gonna just darken some of these darker areas in my image and it's just on this layer here so we get sort of a little sort of a better transition you can see it affected a little bit more there when I kind of bumped it up And this is affecting only this layer because of the blending mode that we use there. Really darken that. I might actually.
actually go into this mask and clean that up a little bit right there. That looks better. And so you can seriously, whoops, uh, just kind of go in here and darken some areas. You could also have done that on a separate layer as well to do it. Or we could also come up here and make an adjustment. All right. And we've darkened that. And we'll just do this a, a different way than we normally do. So I'm going to double click out here. And I will bring this over. And we have the blend if layer. So what I'm going to do is say I don't want that to affect highlights. So I'm holding Alt. I'm sliding this over. So those adjustments don't affect that layer. So you can see we're just affecting a certain area of the image. Now I only want it to apply to this layer, so I'm going to make a clipping mask. Now we're just kind of increasing and darkening that contrast there. It did some funky stuff right there. I'm going to get rid of that. These black, get this up here. Maybe it was this layer. It says this layer. I painted this out of the eye so I get those eyes to pop a little bit better. That looks good. So you can see we've increased that contrast. And we're getting things to blend and darken and look much better. So key here is I really wanted this to kind of wrap over his face there. I don't like this little thing here. So I'm just going to go up here and use the stamp tool at a lower opacity. And we're just going to get rid of a little bit of that. And those little flyaway hairs right there are kind of bugging me as well. And so that looks pretty good. So I'd say probably my least favorite part of this image is actually this shirt this guy's wearing. So um, I will probably go in here and kind of simplify or blur or kind of work on that image. So one thing I think I'm going to do is sort of blur and vignette this as well. So just to make this easier for people to understand, I created a stamp visible layer, which is Command Alt Shift um, E on a Mac, and I want to go up here to camera all filter that's pretty much what I use for a vignette um, you go to FX and then you can just dial this down and hit OK and so this is its this own layer so now I can create a mask alright so now we're back to the brush now when I paint that out we're good and we don't have that harsh line might want that I mean, it just looks a little bit fake, like it, it doesn't belong. So I'm on that layer. Take this brush. And Command Z that. Make sure we're on that mask. So I'm going to take black. I just want this to go. I'm just slowly painting it out. Now we've got this area here where we've brought it in a little bit. And that little smudge is for me darkening it and kind of fiddling with it in that layer. And that is in that area right there. So we're going to hide that there by using that mask. And that looks better. So now we've kind of gotten rid of that dark 
area. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, I think what I'm going to do here is just go into this layer and I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit just to see what that looks like. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do is just create um, another version, another stamp visible layer. Or actually, we're just going to duplicate this layer. So we'll hit Command J. And we're going to go to Other, High Pass. Two is what I leave that on. And then we're going to change that blending mode to linear light. It's a little bit too much, so we're going to try soft light. All right, uh, I'll turn that on and off. Yeah, so we've hardened that up a little bit that I can slide this here, kind of blend it out. And that seems to look a lot better. And that looks like basically it. So that's how you take a texture and basically wrap it around a face. So what I can do here is, um, looks like we're not using this layer, so we're gonna trash that. I can tra take all these layers and group them. And then I can just turn this on and off so you can see the effect that we achieved by using the display displacement map and a texture overlay. So hopefully that was helpful. You learned a little something and uh, see you next time. So this is the final image I came up with. So don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below.